the 30th of June, 2022. Thanks for tuning in to my official YouTube channel. Like my official YouTube video. And if you're going to leave a comment, make sure to have etiquette and respect. Go to my website, www.susanmeeling.com, which is the same as www.ladydorybell.com. So I will put the links as to the videos in the information section that assisted to inspire the metaphors to relate to in a different capacity regarding this particular official YouTube video of mine. And it's going to have to do in reference to scuba diving. So in regards of my scuba diving, I had informed people that I am medically retired from the army. I did not inform them that I had a blue ID card and I'm the one and only sponsor because it realistically wasn't any civilian's right to know. The blue ID card is only in reference to certain specifics. Now there are some people who knew that I had a blue ID card and that would be in reference to my first scuba diving certification, my National Geographic Open Water Scuba Diving Certification. And the reason why I can say that is because when I went to pay for my class, I pulled out my blue ID card and I asked if they gave military discounts. So that would be to the location in Carrollton, Texas. So the owner who had taken my payment at that time officially had been informed of my blue ID card. In the similar capacity as to regarding the dominant, dominant mentor program, there was an individual who had said that it was needed to have an ID card to prove the birth as far as age because of. So there were two major locations as to the scuba diving community as well as the what is supposed to be consenting adult lifestyle community regarding the dominant, leather, dominant mentor program and in regards to the locations both in San Antonio, Texas, as well as Dallas, Texas, as to what is supposed to be considered the adult consenting lifestyle, I had presented my blue ID card. So in those regards, the reason why is usually it was on top. That, that was the main reason, is that I usually put my blue ID card in my wallet on the top. It's very simple, easiest one to grab because it's on the top. So that's a common sense factor in my opinion, whenever people go into their wallet to pay for something or they, if they have it, depending on the type of wallet, it's right there, it's the first one. So there's that factor as to the by technicalities in the year of 2004 or 2005 regarding Temple of Flesh. That was the first ID card they saw. Not just then, though also in the year when 2009 and into other events as far as that's concerned. In reference to the sanctuary, same thing. Though the difference between Temple of Flesh and Sanctuary, if I remember correctly, Temple of Flesh did a scanning of the ID card, whereas in Temple, uh, San, uh, the Sanctuary, they did not take a scanning of the ID card. Then in reference to the dominant mentor program, when I began that in Austin, they had scanned both sides of the ID card. So that way that's known. Now, in regards to scuba diving and how the video links in the information section relate to that as well as the supposed to be considered adult consenting lifestyle, I'm gonna go over a few factors where obviously anybody who's spoken with me in person, face-to-face -face in person, during the time frames, especially of 2001, though in this reference of 2004, through 2009 and into 2010 and 2011, as well as 2012, I had explained that I'm medically retired from the Army. I did not graduate basic training. 
had a head injury on Palm Sunday in 2000. It's all the truth. And so while some people might have whatever opinion as far as what they might know, not everybody gets a blue ID card, though I did earn a blue ID card. And so in those particular references of having acknowledged that and then with the facts as to uh, the way military discounts are concerned, you show your military identification card or military ID card. And in more current times, such as this year of 2022, certain driver's licenses have it automatic on the driver's license. So makes it easier for quite a few individuals, but in the time frames of, they were officially informed of my blue ID card. Now, whether or not they had informed other people because of privacy laws and legalities, I am not aware of that. That's on them. Now, if they had shared the information as to my blue ID card, that would be a violation automatically because legally that's a privacy law, of course. And so even McCoy Elementary School's law firm regarding Carrollton Farmers Branch Independent School District had officially been informed of my blue ID card, except I had covered the area where my social security number was because of the way that had been in certain timeframes or DOD number, depending, however you put it. And so in the references to that particular factor, these individuals were all officially informed. Whether they shared that information with other colleagues or not is up to them. However, I didn't deny it. And again, anybody I spoke with in person, face to face in person had been informed of that. I wasn't ever conducting any investigation in any official capacity for that clarification though, that would be if other people made choices in comparison. I have just written about my personal experiences, which is different than doing any official investigation, obviously. So in regards of my scuba diving, the other scuba diving instructors other than the individual who took my payment in the year 2009, they were informed. They also were informed not only that I had been medically retired from the Army, they had been informed that I had been invited to attend Marine and Science Technology School with the Navy attachment. So you don't get invited to attend Marine and Science Technology School with the Navy attachment if you don't have certain benefits in the regards of the possibilities to work and training at all. It's just the facts. You have to have a certain grade point average for an invitation. I'm gonna guesstimate. You're gonna have to have certain background qualifications for an invitation to that. I would guesstimate. I wouldn't know officially though. Just pointing that out there. That was in the year 1996 that I was invited to that. And so in the reference to that situation, whatever my biological mother and biological father and even my biological little sister may want to think or try to tell themselves that's on them. The paperwork my biological mother and my biological father had signed in the year of 1996 for me to complete the official aspects as to my tests, because you can't take the tests without those documentation being signed. So that legal aspect as to that emancipation officially. It's similar for those who understand if a 17 year old in comparison to an 18 year old goes to join whichever branch of the armed forces of the United States of America, it's a similar factor as to an official emancipation. That's what the reality is. And so while some people in the civilian sector might not know that, that's the reality. So in 1996, I was officially emancipated of my own 
biological mother and biological father's free will. That was the reality. Fast forward to the year 2000, they had a second time frame where they had signed a second set of paperwork where I had been emancipated officially. It's the reality. Now, yes, without anything regarding my free will in reference to New Jersey to Illinois, those legal definitions would be in whatever capacity of those legal definitions. Now, in the year of 2018, my son had told me he wanted to join the army. I had made attempts to change his mind, not in any aspect other than just discussing. So I had explained to him, you do know that these situations occurred to me. You do know the facts as to your biological father. I gave you finding a silver lining. So all of that, as far as in my book section in regards of other people, in the book section on my website, www.susanmeeling.com, which is the same as www.ladydorybell.com, the book section, there are the links that you can click on to purchase my books through Amazon. So my son had been informed officially in writing because of having been personally handed, finding a silver lining, that knowledge that if he were to step forward in regards to going to the army, he would officially be emancipated. He also wanted to live outside of where I was at that time. And so I did the best I could. So that was a choice that was made. I informed him that I had a lot of stuff to take care of. And so there was the multitude of factors. I reminded him that he has his dependent ID card and to be careful because he needed to remember that. And so I did all these preemptive measures in that time frame to make attempts to assist my son. Anybody who has been involved as to raising a teenage male, most specifically, yes, I'm a biological female, though I am a tomboy, there are certain situations as to that. He had been involved in the Steelacum High School regarding military counseling, as far as that was concerned as well. And so I made multiple attempts to ensure the fact that my son knew what he was getting into if he made the choice of his own free will. And so in the capacities of 2019 and having the knowledge that it was 10 years as to the time frame from my scuba diving in the year of 2009 where I earned my 26 scuba diving certifications, as per certain knowledge of certain individuals, there is only the release of information in a certain capacity. Now, I earned 26 scuba diving certifications. Most of the time when I spoke with people after the year 2009, I had informed them that I completed the 16 scuba diver certification course that was offered at that time in the year of 2009. I didn't go into the details of having earned 26 scuba diving certifications total. I figured the 16 specialty course of scuba diving certifications had been enough of a detail as to those particular factors. What other people in various areas had as to their opinion is exactly that, their opinion. And so in the facts aspect, I had earned a total of 26 scuba diving certifications. The scuba diving instructors as to the locations, I know for a fact of the two locations regarding international, I do not know in reference to scuba toys as to whether or not they had officially been informed. Now, with the precursor of the knowledge regarding Marine and Science Technology School with the Navy attachment, as well as the knowledge of being medically retired from the Army, as well as having been informed 
that I had received medical treatment on military installations in those years and always was supposed to be capable to get medical care because of being medically retired from the army and those particular factors, there's no reason in any capacity for me to ever be denied medical care at all because of having earned a blue ID card. Any civilian and or veteran that and or dependent that may have anything to do with any needless problems officially would invite the, to themselves as well as to the rest of the civilian population as to being under the scrutiny of the UCMJ or Universal Code of Military Justice in conjunction to the federal laws of the United States of America in conjunction to the state laws of the whichever state within the territories of and the different cities regarding per state. I have explained as well as put into writing in the year of 2010 and the year of 2011, people in the Austin area of the state of Texas, among other areas, had said that they had hoped for that, that that would be acceptable to them because I made the reference when we were discussing healthcare and they had their opinions in certain regards. I had been referring to the military healthcare specifically as to basic training to that. I had not referred to my particular medical care at all whatsoever. And so, because they brought up what was going on in reference to my daughter, I brought that up regarding that particular factor. In that year time frame of 2010, 2011, and 2012, put it in writing officially regards of finding a silver lining, as well as finding the silver lining which you can find the links in my book section on my website, www.susanmeeling.com by clicking on the pictures that will take you to Amazon to purchase those books. So in the particular reference as to my scuba diving and in reference to the video links that will be in the information section regarding the upload to my official YouTube channel, like my official YouTube video and subscribe to my official YouTube channel. The individuals as to not just the scuba diving instructors, though also individuals in the various classes, depending on, had been informed officially around the time frame of April that I was going to go to the Vandenberg. They before then was informed all of them from February of 2009 through the time frame of April of 2009. Each one of them had been informed that I was going to earn as many scuba diving certifications that I knew would be assistive in reference to knowing my scuba dive gear for the work that I had to take care of for myself as well as for the betterment regarding several factors. Whether or not they understood that is not my fault, that is their fault. While there is one scuba dive instructor in the month of April who had been a part of prior classes that I had regarding my total of 26 scuba diving certifications, he had been in scuba diving however long he had been in regarding uh, Patrick Lynch. And I had informed him, that's cool that you have been involved with that, but that's your scuba diving. That's not mine. My scuba diving as to my work is different. These same people were informed that I had been born and raised in New Jersey and grew up going out to the Atlantic area, the oceanic waters every summer when I was a child and a teenager after a certain point. 
If those individuals spoke with my biological mother and or my biological father and or my biological little sister and they did not tell the truth or they withheld information or whatever capacities of, that is for them to deal with in comparison. It's not my fault. I had been truthful. So every one of them were officially informed. When in reference to Patrick Lynch, there were several situations. So I'm going to go over a, a culmination of the overall time frame of February 2009 through January of 2010. So in regards of my first scuba diving certification course, my National Geographic Open Water Scuba Diving Certification, I was the only unattached female in that class. I had been informed that I was the first unattached female in the scuba diving school aspects that they had ever had. They had some who had dated a scuba diver and or a scuba dive instructor and other capacities, but not without any in prior factors. So the females in that particular class, they had their viewpoints where I dealt with, I'll leave it as they couldn't understand why I, as an unattached female, would ever get involved with scuba diving without a male or a relationship with the scuba diver. They didn't tell me why, but that was their viewpoint. As far as the males in the class, that varied. So some males were not real, they were more ambivalent and other males had whatever viewpoint of. And so it went the way it did. I didn't really care about any of their opinions, to be honest, because I wasn't there for them. I could make a pop culture reference as a joke as to a song by Pink called You and Your Hand, as far as that's concerned, because I wasn't there for them. I was there for life, for work, because of what I had a background in. And so in those particular have, as far as my background, and so in regards of the various certifications, depending on the class and depending on what work was, depended on several factors. So in one situation, I went out to Huntsville Quarry area in Texas, and I brought my scuba dive tent and I had my MREs and all that stuff. And the scuba dive instructors, I believe it was uh, Richard Thomas, who was disgusted that I actually had brought my scuba dive tent, or my scuba, I had brought a tent for my scuba dive. He was disgusted because I had an MRE. And I didn't understand what his problem was. He didn't have to eat it. That wasn't up for him there. And as he had done so, he went into town and got other food. I wasn't there to take care of that. He had made fun of how it looked like a grown up Lunchable, which I mean, you know, if the shoe fits, I guess so, you know, grown up. And so in those particular aspects, I had my gear squared away. Now the other instructor he had known, he had been informed of, of and had also been involved with prior scuba diving classes. And at that point in time, I was known for having my tent and my sleeping bag and my MREs and all those particular factors. He brought a cot out that he put up in his, the bed of his truck and stuff like that. It wasn't that big of a deal. For some people, it wasn't surprising at all. For others that do more of the civilian recreational lazy scuba diving, it was a surprise. 
the complaints about how I hadn't graduated basic training. The irony, no one can complain about me not graduating basic training for the Army than myself, which is an annoyance regarding anybody that would ever think that they have a right to complain when they don't because it's not their basic training, it's mine. It's my graduation that I did not attend in reference to the Army in 2000. I have the right to complain about that. I have the right to complain about my head injury that happened. I have that right. Other people do not have that right. So in the factors of how those people didn't take my scuba diving seriously, because if they actually took my scuba diving seriously, they would not do anything that would be in any capacity other than officially informing me. They did not. They played civilian recreational scuba diving lazy games. That's their fault for their irresponsibility. That is their accountability for their stupidity, for not taking into consideration anything that would actually matter to me as to how things should actually be done correctly regarding my work. It's not for their interpretation. It's for me to tell them if they were to actually have that common sense. But since they have lacked that common sense and maturity, in my opinion, those particular factors of how they have been extremely irresponsible in my three volume book series, The Adventures of Susan Mee Ling, Scuba Diver Extraordinaire, reiterates certain minor factors, which you can find in the book section of my website, www.susanmeeling.com, which is the same as www.ladydorybell.com. And to this day, those civilian recreational scuba divers and everybody else has not ever asked me how to appropriately recognize that at all. I did not need their interpretations of. That's not for them to choose. It's not their work officially. They themselves did nothing to actually assist me in the correct ways or capacity despite what they might think. They do not understand, nor do they know the laws of the ocean, other than you obey the laws of the ocean. It's very simple, because otherwise, the laws of the ocean will overrun you. That's just how the laws of the ocean are. And since it's Mother Ocean, Absolutely, my outfit might be a bit apropos. The ways of actually recognizing that in the correct capacities are not for others to choose. That would be ignorance and stupidity that would cause a large amount of calamity that would be irreversible until actually done correctly. And since there is only one individual who had accomplished all that I have, there is no one that has the right to choose for me at all in any capacity. They have the right to ask me with etiquette and respect of how to do that correctly. And that's it. They do have the right to go forward in the correct capacities after an in-person, face-to-face, in-person discussion. It's not for anybody else's choice. It has not ever been anybody else's choice because it is not their work. Do not make that mistake. They themselves did not do the work in the water. Similarly, to how each of my scuba diving certifications, I did the work. I did the research beforehand. 
I educated myself. I also taught those individuals and educated them. So out of respect, there would only be one individual to make the choice correctly. If they have been too ignorant to ever think that I would actually know better because of speaking with anybody except for the one and only person to ask, which would be myself, they failed in 2009, they failed in 2010, they failed in 2011, they failed in 2012, they failed in 2013, they failed in 2014, they failed in 2015, they failed in 2016, they failed in 2017, they failed in 2018, they obviously failed in 2019, they failed in 2020, they failed in 2021, and to this day in the year of 2022, on the 30th of June, they still have failed to do anything correctly in regards of the first step of one protocol, which is to ask me correctly in person, face-to-face -face in person, in truth, with etiquette and respect. I had made things convenient for them in the year of 2009, from August officially in regarding one particular scuba dive through December of 2009, as well as January 2010. I additionally made it convenient for those lazy civilian recreational scuba divers in the year of 2019 and 2020, 2021. You can read about it in the Ornery PSA through my website, www.susanmeadling.com, which is the same as www.ladydorybell.com as well as my official YouTube channel and my official YouTube videos. So those individuals who have failed repeatedly, so that's 365 days of the year for that amount of time that they have failed repeatedly each day. So whatever the arithmetic is, for the time frame officially of August 2009 through today, the 30th of June 2022, that is the amount of days of their failures to get it correct. Now, in regards of the year 2009, where I had earned my 26 scuba diving certifications. I had several discussions with a few people and I had informed them that I was getting myself prepared to do my work in the oceanic waters. I had informed them that my childhood and my early teenage years, I had been working on quite a few things as to the safety and security of people on land went out to the Atlantic area of the oceanic waters. Year after year after year. So in reference to what has been clarified and verified. Since the time frame of finding a silver lining and finding the silver lining, officially being published, though also in reference to the factors of the Dropbox link in 2015. And then onward, those particular individuals that I once knew in the state of Texas, they have had ample opportunity to get it correct they have failed to this length of time. I do now understand why certain others have not had a positive viewpoint 
to Texas scuba divers. And the irony, I made an attempt to actually give a more positive viewpoint in the state of Florida regarding my style of scuba diving, having worked in the state of Texas. Unfortunately, as to how it went in that time frame, as to how many failures over and over again. So maybe some point in time, they'll actually get it correct. Maybe, just maybe, I'll actually have a reason to actually celebrate and enjoy such a celebration. However, in scuba diving, you know better than to hold your breath. And since my style of scuba diving is not recreational, since my style of scuba diving is not lazy, same thing with on land. I haven't ever been doing anything in a recreational capacity. I haven't ever been lazy. Though I have chastised my own viewpoints because, you know, I did not graduate basic training because of my head injury on Palm Sunday in 2000. I have made attempts to verbalize it as well as having put it in writing, both. So there's no one who truthfully has any right to any delay because unless they want to continue to prove their ignorance each and every day. That is up to them as to what they choose to say. So in the reference, but it better be in truth, obviously, and not perceived, actual truth. So in around the time frame of April, I had officially informed the scuba divers I knew at the time in the year of 2009, by whatever point in time of however many scuba diving certifications I had earned, that I was going to go to the Vandenberg. I was going to land at the bottom of the ocean because I had work to do. And since it had been repeatedly explained to me as to how they viewed their scuba diving as recreational and how they viewed their scuba diving as lazy, well, I suppose in some ways, since this is the year of 2022, compared to the year of 2009, yes, I can aptly agree at a higher level as to what I've seen. Now, in several situations, which in one reference as to a scuba dive instructor, we did argue. And he tried to tell me that he was going to go to the Oriskany and how he had read online as to the way in the millennial time that it was 115 feet to the top of the tower. I laughed. I truly did. I laughed in his face. Not in a rude way. I just couldn't believe that anybody that was a scuba dive instructor, no matter what type, could ever actually believe that with the knowledge of boats and the powering as to the engines that would go over it, that it would be 115 feet to the top of the tower. I literally could not believe that there would be anybody who would actually think that a military vessel that was sunk purposefully would ever be 115 feet from the top of the water to the top of a tower. Maybe my perception is a bit skewed since I know what it takes to be capable to go onto a military installation as to the distance between not only the turning point in, though also to the actual gate 
So maybe that's my askewed view where I could see, yeah, to that, that's 115 feet maybe. But from the top of the water, where submarines could go by depending on where, and you know, I mean, I can't be the only person who knows that the Coast Guard and or Marine Corps, though definitely the Navy has submarines. I can't be the only one who knows that. So what it would take to power a submersible vessel to move through the water, I kind of figured they, I, I don't believe it's called downward draught compared to boats. However, there is that. How much foam does a boat make when it, you know, has a electric type or oil powered engine to move through the water on a lake surface? Common sense, I suppose truly is a superpower because I didn't ever think that they could be that ignorant at that time in 2009. I actually thought that they were more intelligent than that in comparison, both male and female. I thought that they were more intelligent than that. And so maybe, 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 maybe I'm inaccurate. However, I'm, I'm fairly certain there have, you know, with the several arguments, not just with Patrick Lynch, though with several others. Now, mind you, by the time I have the argument with Patrick Lynch, I've already had stuff, and it's not, I shouldn't say argument. We had a debate. I had arguments with Richard Thomas or Richard Trout, whatever, and the aspects of Curtis Powell multiple times. Those two particular scuba dive instructors I did not get along with. I did the best I could to maintain my composure, but the way they had been as machismo, feminazi, to the level of extremes was ridiculous. So in regards of Curtis Powell, more than two different times, we had gotten into large arguments. I was falsely accused of a bunch of garbage regarding his aspects because of his viewpoint, thinking that I was luxury scuba diving, going to Clear Springs Scuba Park. He actually believed that that was considered luxury scuba diving. He also thought that going to Huntsville Quarry was considered luxury scuba diving, just as Richard Thomas or whatever trap had thought that it was luxury scuba diving that I was doing. They thought that, and remember, they knew that I grew up going out to the real water, you know, the ocean. They knew that. They thought that going to Lake Travis was considered luxury scuba diving. I grew up going out to the Atlantic area, the oceanic waters but they thought that that was luxury scuba diving as they had the nerve to make fun of me for sleeping in a tent with a sleeping bag. This is, this is the lack of attention to details. They thought that, uh, I, and I, I, I truthfully don't know how they thought this. I truthfully don't because why anybody would ever think that that's considered luxury. Sure, it's considered luxury as to being capable to do so. What I consider luxury, that is the furthest thing that I would ever consider. That is a disgrace to the term luxury. That word cannot ever be utilized in that capacity at all regarding now maybe for them fine that's their particular viewpoint again i grew up going out to the atlantic area the oceanic waters sure it's cold compared to the gulf of mexico um location big difference 
huge difference. As well as the type of water, not just you know salt water compared to fresh water, although when you get in trouble with someone of a certain caliber, you usually are told, stop being fresh. Attention to detail. And so, you know, usually that's not necessary. Now, you can have other terminology to fresh, and yet freshwater scuba diving compared to oceanic water scuba diving is a big difference by a lot. And so, um, I can make a joke-ish. So in reference to some people who have complained about how repetitive I can be, well, just think what fresh scuba diving is in fresh water. Just think about it that way. You go to the same waters over and over again. You think that's luxury to go to the same waters over and over again. Now, sure, there could be comfort to you there. Sure, depending on. I grew up going out to the Atlantic area of the ocean, and in the ocean, you don't ever get the same scuba dive twice. You also don't get to go in the oceanic waters the same way twice or three times or whatever. It's just the reality. You, you know, it, it, it's it, it, the ocean is the ocean. That's just how it is. Whereas in a lake, you won't have the same scuba dive twice necessarily. And yet, <laughs> you know, you'll still see the same stuff each time okay and so you know i had informed these individuals and i got into these arguments with these two in particular and so it's an irony as to the uh georgia guidestones so there's a guy named rc right so there's richard and um curtis and they were just problematic the entire time they had this ego of arrogance to think that their opinions in any capacity ever mattered to me. They had the nerve to actually believe that their type of recreational civilian lazy scuba diving was anything compared to mine. And I'm not saying that they couldn't have a background, they could. However, they would know for themselves where and when they started to learn to swim. If they did not start learning how to swim in New Jersey waters out from the shoreline to the Atlantic area, they cannot compare that. Sure, they could have later, but from childhood, if they didn't have the background, such as my babysitter, Sonny Sonia, as to the in-water portion, and or I know for a fact when it comes, because Sonny Sonia was Hispanic, so okay, there's that capacity. However, since none of them, with the exception of one particular scuba diver instructor later, um, unless it's a, I have a buck gung and a buck poo, and so while there's land factors that I learned from my buck gum, when it comes to the legends in China of my buck poo and how many lives she saved in the water, as well as on land, there are those particular uh, factors as to that work. And so learning directly from her in the water, you know, probably a little bit different than um, whatever they learned. So if in regards of the pool classes that my son and my daughter were in would be how they learned scuba diving or how to swim before scuba diving, <whistles> nowhere near close, nowhere. I mean, sure, it's a salt water pool. That's nice. That's not the same as 
the ocean at all. <laughs> I don't know why it would be difficult to figure that out. A pool is a pool. <laughs> the ocean is the ocean. <laughs> It's the, and I usually have just said the ocean, but you know, I've had to, you know, put it in a geographical context, I suppose. So I've just said, especially even back then in 2009, I just said, well, yeah, when I go scuba diving in the ocean. And some, such as those two, have been, well, where in the ocean? None of your business is the answer for you. You know, I'll let you know when I feel like it or have the reason to more specifically. So, hmm, it is as it is. So, the irony, I sent my books in full out to both of those particular shops in Carrollton, Texas. And since they have, com I mean, well, I know they don't have common sense. I already had reached out to them before, and only one of the two scuba dive shops had someone who responded back to me in comparison. So, you know, what um, Exit 200 type of a egotistical haughtiness, I suppose. My perspective, of course mine. So none of their work actually has anything to do with my work. It would be considered stolen valor if they were to ever try to pat themselves on the back for their own involvement. Because other than my scuba diving certifications that I earned from the work I had completed, they didn't actually do anything. They didn't teach me anything like they thought. Uh, and, and here's a clarification. My biological father was a scuba diver when it was the J and K valve time frame. And my biological father was a merchant marine. So I also have my bucko, my bucko, and my babysitter, Sonny Sonia, and her husband, Joe Jose, and my grandpa, Gavit. So, you know, there, there's that in comparison. So their education that I learned well before, and yes, I had a head injury on my and, and the subarachnoid hemorrhage and all that. Yes, I know that. I don't need other people to repeat back to me what I already know about myself, what I already understand about myself. I know that. I've, I've, I've comprehended myself. I have comprehended myself so much that I was capable to author and compile my first nine, well, eight books and one extra as far as copyright for myself. I had that intellectual capacity to do so because of my own intellect to do so. And I've authored and compiled a few other books on my own because I've had the intellect to do so. And yes, I went from college AP algebra, college AP trigonometry, college AP calculus, college AP geometry to second grade math Though, remember, when you go to college, I don't know what you do for your college. When I went to community college, just as similarly as when I was in elementary school, just as similarly as when I was in middle school, and just as similarly as when I was in high school, I had read from cover to cover of the information inside of those books. I had completed all of the work assigned in those books. So yes, I went from that level to what is considered to my intellect, as to my background, 
of second grade math. That does not translate to other people's version of second grade math. So, pointing out those facts. And I've already explained certain other situations. So, now, <laughs> my biological father had said there had been problems with the civilian scuba diving sector when he had been a scuba diver when it was the J&K bout. And so I'm sure that with certain reference points, he may have seen a few repetitions of patterns of behavior. Probably not the only one. You know, for example, SSI scuba diving began in the 1980s. Probably wouldn't have to have SSI scuba diving if in regards of other civilian recreational scuba diving sectors, there were enough people that were actually responsible enough to be scuba divers. And that would probably be why. I would guesstimate that in regards of the finding a silver lining and finding the silver lining, if any SSI scuba diver had looked up and then went and clarified and verified, probably would maybe have questions as far as, though additionally would see certain similarities to whatever in some references too, compared to the aspects of. And so, you know, um, I didn't have pictures taken of me that I know of when I was in my scuba dive gear. I had uh, not needed that for myself. So in regards of the Oriskany compared to the Vandenberg, yeah, okay, that's nice. Okay, you think that it's 115 feet you can scuba dive deeper. You think it's a hundred, and maybe, maybe, as long as there are, I mean, in regards of Hawaii, you're not allowed to have certain types of boats that go by the Arizona. So unless, unless you have that same sort of restriction to that area, well then, okay, I could see maybe that 115 feet. However, that Arizona, is, is it, it had to get what I call a haircut. Had to get haircut. And so it had different stacks that were sticking out of the water. Yeah, yeah. They had to do some modification to it. So that way it would be in the water. But still, you know, because of the size of the hull. The Vandenberg is bigger than that. I've known that. Okay, so, but I didn't bring that reference up during the time frame of arguing, uh, or I should say debating, in that reference with him. And so we went back and forth, and I explained, you know, there's, there's no comparison. And even still, I have work to do. And so my background is my background. And I made attempts to give metaphors, so my nightmare from second grade, as to 1993 and 2001. And so I've done the best I could to mitigate any needless problems. And so I explained that to these people. And instead of them taking me seriously, well, I went to go and take care of stuff because I knew what needed to be done. So I went and handled it. Now, in regards of multiple debates from essentially April through even into July, 
I argued, or I should say debated, April through July. I'm going to go do that. I know what I'm doing. Yes, that's fine. You have your experiences. Your experiences are different than mine. Your background is different than mine. You got into swimming before scuba diving the way you did. That is different compared to how I have. We have very two sets of differences as to your involvement compared to mine. Your background is your background. My background is mine. My work is mine. Your work is yours. Do not conflate the two. And so over and over and over again, it was a constant, needless problem. There wasn't ever a point in time I ever got to relax. I mean, not just before then, but especially during. There wasn't anything that those people actually made easier for me. They may have thought they had, you know, so like, Richard Thomas tried doing, well, we'll go get steak so that you don't have to have your Lunchable. It's an MRE and I have work to do. So, you know, in regards of at Clear Springs or at the quarry or at Lake Travis, each and every one of those times for each and every one of those classes for each and every one of my scuba diving certifications, each and every time, instead of doing what they did in 2019 as to Clear Springs, instead of that, which isn't really all that good when you take in consideration the purple bottle, but more along the lines where they just left, where I just handled my own stuff, unless, you know, they were stalking at that point in time and the continued harassment in that hypothetical that they had done in 2009. Those needless problems where they didn't do anything that would actually be considered as assistive to me in the correct capacity. Not once. Did they actually do anything that would actually be ideal for me? What their opinions were is what their opinions were, since none of them had ever had the common sense to remove the damn binky from their mouths and actually ask me, in person, face to face, in person, as per the requirements, because that's how you do scuba diving. You don't watch a video and that's considered scuba diving. When you do scuba diving, you put the gear on yourself and you do all that stuff and then you go in the water. That's how scuba diving is. Common sense. So, you know, they haven't done it correctly. And so, because they haven't done so correctly, because they thought whatever they thought, as far as how that goes, um, that's the problem they thought in comparison to actually asking me. Now, yes, they could have made a phone call. They could. I am above them regarding my work. That's the thing that they haven't understood, that they've needed to understand. My work is my work. And so where their job had been to this day for them to actually humble themselves enough because that's nice, you're an instructor. You didn't do the work I did. I don't, I, 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 the other stuff is the other stuff. You're not assisting me when you cause me additional stress when I don't need it. 
It's the same garbage regarding my biological mother, biological little sister, and biological father from the time frame of 2003 through 2005. If those morons would not have caused such needless problems, I would have been capable to get that done in that time frame instead of such immaturity. Same thing. And so, you know, because, oh, well, let's go hang out. Let's... Why don't you actually have the courtesy to ask me instead of just doing things your way? Why don't you have the courtesy to actually, if I officially put it out there, officially. So here's a reference for one, not every, one Medal of Honor recipient marker. One, just one. One Medal of Honor recipient marker to find just one. I made it official. in that capacity. And so, well, yes, I can murmur about things. And within a 24 hour period, if longer than 24 hours, you have wasted that 24 hours, just as to the reference regarding from the time frame of 2009 to today in 2022. So it's not the same as in any capacity. Do not assume. I can be lenient to a degree for certain factors and I will acknowledge at the time of. In the specifics. However, I had a lot to take care of. And these individuals thought they knew what I needed in comparison. They did that same garbage as to seeing one cheerleader discussed with as to that. And one time looking at or having a page saved in regards to one motorcycle, whatever, that doesn't translate to actually what my choice. That's another fact. See, that's those types of individuals that think that just because of a preference or a saved, just because, no, I'm not you. Keep that in mind. All you need to do, look at my journal blog, The Ornery PSA, and read any one of my journal blogs. Just pick one. And that's through my website, www.susanmeeling.com, which is the same as www.ladydorybell.com, or pick a video from my official YouTube channel. And maybe there's more than one topic. So in those particular references, if you don't have the courtesy and etiquette to simply actually ask me, that is where the failure to communicate occurs. And it's not through my efforts, it's through yours. If you fail to communicate with me in the proper ways, that is your failure. That's how it is. So in the year 2009, I had repeatedly explained different discussions, different debates. Fine, yes, your experience is your experience. I have my own. Yeah, okay, maybe it's because I'm a biological female. And they couldn't wrap their minds around the fact that, yeah, I'm a biological female who's a bit stubborn. I know my own work, I know my own background, but if you speak with my ex-in-laws 
and or you speak with my biological mother and or my biological father and or my biological little sister, you are not going to get the same information as to my background. You'll get things clarified and verified, but if you are intelligent, you'll actually just ask me instead of assuming. And so, you know, I had led by example in those references through the time frame of after landing at the bottom of the Gulf of Mexico multiple times for that particular trip, I had made multiple attempts each and every day that I volunteered at International, each and every one of the different dives through, like even with the discussions with that particular individual, I made multiple attempts. You know, for as many people who complained about me being repetitive, maybe you have an idea of how many times I actually made attempts. If you don't remember that, that's your fault. That's not mine. That's your fault. But you do have the pattern of behavior, hypothetically. So in the references, just from June of 2009 to July, of 2009. That's how many attempts I made just in reference to the Gulf of Mexico. Then in regards of from the Vandenberg, you have from August 2009 through the first weekend of January 2010. Once that occurred, that was it. I had, as anybody knows, with whatever aspect of, well, since obviously I've had all of these needless problems to get stuff completed from 2003 to 2005, I actually had to physically move myself and my son and my daughter from San Antonio, Texas to Carrollton, Texas to get away from my biological mother, my biological father, and my biological little sister, as well as make sure my son and my daughter had what they could to get the ex-in-laws nowhere near my work. They were not ever invited. To get that done, I could have had that done if I did a deal with McCoy Elementary School and Carrollton Farmers Branch Independent School District from, you know, any extensions from those two sides regarding my son and my daughter's biologicals. If those people had just not been so immature, would have been great. Could have gotten work done by the year of 2012. So it's 2005, 2006. 2011, I apologize, 2011. So then in 2012, then the Stony LaRue concert and you know, March, and it, it, that didn't even need to occur if people just had actually been mature. Instead of what they chose. So if they actually had done what they were told to do in an actual timely manner instead of wasting so much time similar to now how there's st still wasted time each day that goes by they still have wasted time they might not believe so that's their fault yet again that's just the facts i have not wasted time that's the reality they have. And so while I've taken care of all these different factors, so there's the links for the videos that you can refer to. So, you know, if that needless problem regarding 2009 in October didn't occur and could have just like, literally, do not assume do not ever assume that it's acceptable. You know, what's supposed to be considered a consenting adult lifestyle and that situation regarding John Daniel and all that crap, that's not acceptable. That is, it's just the reality. 
and yet again, some more immaturity. I'm not that type. Do not let my hair fool you. Do not let my skin fool you. Do not let anything fool you regarding who I am. Whatever other people have had their misconceptions of, that's their fault. They have fooled you. You have been their fool this entire time. Whereas I have made repeated attempts to get stuff done correctly. If people weren't such immature children, though biological adults, I would have had work completed instead. So, you know, it's very simple really is. So I understand there are people who grew up a certain way where you are timid to ask and yet grow up. You're not a child anymore. Okay. And so it's really just that simple. So in regards of the Vandenberg went back and forth multiple times different scuba diver instructors in the civilian recreational lazy area, different, just different ones over and over. That's nice. Oh, here's this guy from the Navy. Here's this guy from the Marine Corps. That's nice. You should talk with them about what you, and what do I care about? No, thank you for your service. Cool. Okay. But what do I care in reference to my work? Are you gonna try to think that just because they, yeah, great, thanks for informing me of what I already knew. It's a big boat, uh-huh, and I still have work to do. If you don't ask me what my work is, that's your fault. That's how that goes. That's your laziness. That's, 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 that's what that translates to because you could actually ask me, but you have to verify that as far as, so if you actually ask me in comparison to just standing around and looking at whatever, you know, common sense, but then I'd actually have to have been taken seriously in the correct capacity. And so when there are individuals who, such as in the Marine Corps and the Navy, among other dot, dot, dot types, where they usually have male instructors, or they usually have males involved in that capacity, and a female having the audacity to have more incapacity. I know I've dealt with that before in comparison. And so those types have this issue of actually asking, which is their issue that they have to accept, that they have to figure that out. And if they actually had, how much easier it would have actually been. I actually believe in chivalry. And so chivalry is where you actually ask in comparison to assuming. Being anticipatory translates to actually asking me and in that aspect of in comparison. I'm not the type of person who does things certain ways. So whatever you're accustomed to in regards of other females biologically, that's what you're accustomed to in comparison. So, you know, it's just the facts. If you just do things correctly, would it be a problem? Common sense. It's really common sense. And so I've made attempt after attempt. And so in regards of the Vandenberg, yeah, there isn't a weekend that I earned or went scuba or whatever, as far as that work, there's not one from April all the way through to August or July, technically, there's not one weekend that I didn't have a discussion. There's also not one time that I had volunteered where at some point I didn't bring it up. 
So even inside the shop that I had made the payment regarding my scuba diving certifications, even they were officially informed inside the shop. They were known to have that information. That's their choice regarding those factors. They have caused needless drama because instead of having that common sense to ever think that I could actually do things correctly because I didn't do it through their little pre-packaged. I supposed maybe they thought that because of the scuba diver specialty course that I completed all 16 specialty courses, they thought I was gonna do things in a different way as far as instructor. I informed them I was not going to become a scuba diver instructor. When in the day that I purchased, that 16 scuba dive specialty course, I officially informed them. First, I was going to complete all 16 of those scuba diver specialty classes for those courses to earn each one of those certifications. And when I was told, well, you know, usually people just go and do this as far as whatever and so on and so forth, and like then they become an instructor. I then said, I will not be a scuba dive instructor in this time. I have minimum standards for myself. And if those minimum standards are not met, I refuse to become a scuba dive instructor because of you will respect that you will accept that at some point in time you will accept it and so you know a bunch tried they really 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 tried to get me to become an instructor they made comments you know, passive aggressively. And I refused. They, and those comments, oh, well, I saw you posted pictures of your children. Mm hmm. Yes, I did. Yes. They're my children, though. Remember that. Oh, well, you know, it's interesting that you're looking at this which was not posted about. What is it to you? It's none of your business. You know, so maybe there are some biological females who have had this problem regarding those types who think that they know better. And so, you know, I, I don't do well with passive aggressive hinting because that is not respectable to me. I don't have anything to respect regarding those types. There's not that capacity to. So while some might think that it's cutesy or like, <laughs> I find it disgusting because you're a biological adult. You're supposed to be mature. So, you know, in reference to what's supposed to be considered the adult consenting lifestyle. I refuse to play with brats. I absolutely refuse to. Yeah, I had a few situations where a few brats tried to get me to play with them and I just walked away from them. And I didn't want to have anything to do with them. And then they cried to a bunch of other people because why would you? Because I didn't have the need for that. I'm not that type of a person. That is not a turn on for me at all, whatsoever. That is not something I find enjoyable. I can see a lot of problems that can develop from that desensitizing factor, in my opinion. And so those particular types that, I don't know why they decided they didn't want to grow up, that's their fault though, they need to. They need to actually grow up. You might not want to. 
as far as whatever capacity, maybe you don't want to grow up, but you need to grow up. It's, it's, it's that time. It's literally been 20 years, going to be 21 years from the time frame of the attacks on the 11th of September, 2001. No more child time. Grow up. I don't care you consider it recreational, civilian sector, whatever, lazy scuba diving. Grow up. It is unacceptable as far as what occurred in 2009 through this year of 2022. Grow up. It's time to be mature about everything. It's time to speak honestly with etiquette and respect. And in references to these little millennials that have their widow baby feelings hurt. And no matter what, no matter how much people, it doesn't matter, in a prior official YouTube video of mine where I explain the white pages, if there are millennials that got their feelings hurt, that proves to each and every one of you that it does not matter the tone of voice, you are just that immature. That's it. That's just how immature you are. So there are things that are just not capable to be fluffy. I am one of them. So in regards of those types, where in the year 2009, it was just a debate back and forth. When in regards of, you know, Curtis, his accusations, which is funny, because for those who know about the Dominant Mentor Program, but also as an irony, for those who've ever been to a drum circle where there's been a fire that I danced. So, Think about this, it's evening hours, both of the earth, whichever number of times. It's dark out, it's well past 10 or 11 o'clock at night, or 22, 2300 for military time. And in between Chris and I, or Bridget Hans I, They try to complain or try to falsely accuse, or well, they did falsely accuse, but as they try to convince me that their feelings matter, the flames in the fire go down and it turns into amber and ash. And then when I go to speak, the flames shoot up. Because anybody who's ever seen a drum circle. And so as the flames rise, the heat that comes with that, well, the flames start dancing and there's pop, pop, pop. As far as all the little pieces of wood that just just randomly. And then as I calm, and listen to them try again. The flames go down lower. And then as I speak with a calm aspect of flames rise. And this goes on throughout whichever discussion over the weekend as they try to have convinced me of their feelings and their opinions as to whatever they thought. And it just didn't work as far as their feelings or their opinion. And so in regards of the 2020 election, for a metaphor, if that happened to be international, as far as certain people that wanted to try, well, 46 is 46 now. So you have to accept that. 
And so if there were those who weren't in the know at the time, but then later found out, or maybe they were in the know, and there were aspects of, time to grow up now. It's time to make the correct choices. So, you know, um, if in regards of the Trump steak aspect, ugh, I've had better. I mean, it was an irony in regards to how, and anybody who's had that in that capacity, remember, I earned first place in the first ever Texas chili cook-off I had ever participated in. And sure, it could have been whatever, whatever, However, there are people who have had my barbecue and you know, where I did it, where I was actually comfortable. So people that have had my barbecue in reference to my house in San Antonio, people who have had my barbecue in reference to my house, the brief amount of time in Carrollton, the people who have had food that I've cooked in either house, they know. They, they, they can distinguish the difference. So, you know, just as, as it is. You know, I don't, I don't have uh, certain comfort levels cooking in certain locations. So sure, I can make it taste good, but you know, I, I prefer to cook from scratch. And so, you know, um, I can, tolerate the pre-packaged. It doesn't really do anything for me personally that I prefer. I prefer to cook my way. And um, so, you know, it is as it is. I've allowed other people to cook for me, but if I had, so I've only had a few people who have barbecued. So there's the steaks pre-packaged, in scuba diving, and then there's elk steaks. Sure, two different types of meat, uh, except that that's a that's a that's a lot better. You know, it was done with a different type of marinade and all that's in co in comparison. You know, to whatever that was, and so you know, it, but it was it was good enough to eat. I. I still had my MREs though. And so I still had my work to do. And similarly from, you know, that aspect where it could have been completed with certain things in 2005 in comparison, you know, and then those factors of scuba diving, if they had done things correctly, I was asking for a reason. You know, I had built my house the way I had as to what was my home. And so I asked for a reason. So those scuba diver instructors in that civilian recreational sector, well, just think, I would have, I would have, and for those who specifically have had, you know, that barbecue as well as my cooking. So there is the, the neighbors in the cul-de-sac who would know, well, uh, those civilian recreational scuba divers that should have answered correctly immediately. Well, you know in your references and they did not get my cooking. And so those few individuals, whatever areas of, they know what my cooking. So they know about my barbecue in that backyard far as that brisket, they know about those bratwursts, they know about those hot dogs, they know about those hamburgers and cheeseburgers that I made, and they know about that ham I made, they know about the pot roast I made with the vegetables I made, they know about the mashed potatoes I made, they know about my seafood spinach dip I made, they know about all that. And you decided as to your childish games instead of doing things correctly back in 2009, that's when that could have occurred. If you had made the correct choice in what was my home, 
in what was comfortable. See, this is why you don't hesitate. Because then, if that had been done correctly at that point in time, then I would have gotten to actual work regarding the aspects of, and by the time of 2011 in December, that aspect would have been completed at the very latest of December. Very latest. Instead, you know, the pigeon, colors, don't go up, sort of garbage. Instead. So now, it's 2022. So in reference to in the year 2020, yeah, there's the 2020 rallies. I had to do all of these additional updates from 2019 into 2020, 2021, where everything could have been completed if they had not wasted so much time if they had not been so immature, if they had not been so haughty, if they had not been so arrogant, if they would have just actually asked me, or when I made an area, which not, not the same, of course, it was, was my home, but you know, in reference to that barbecue, I had attempted to have who was there to actually discuss, but you know, they didn't have their practice time, hypothetically. So because they failed over and over again, at what point in time do they actually get it correct? Because I realistically have not been capable to understand how much of a waste of time so much has been. So all of those lives that could have had that information regarding 2001, so all of those lives that could have had that from the year 2005 through the year of 2011, that's my biological mother and or my biological father, and or my biological little sister, and or my ex-in-laws, and such connections fault automatically. Then, so 2005 was the first one that should have been, so 2003 to 2005, it's just in regards of whether Illinois, whatever, whatever, 2003 to 2005, you hesitated that for them. You had no right to. From 2005 through 2009, that was a second round of those needless problems. Then from 2010 through 2013, that's some more needless problems where I could have actually gotten things done correctly instead of having to take care of all that stuff. I could have actually had genuine assistance in the correct ways, in comparison. Because no, I'm not the stereotypical female. No, I'm not the stereotypical leather. No, I am not the stereotypical female dominant as to what most people think of. No, I am not the stereotypical swinger. No, I'm not the stereotypical BDSMer. No, I am not the stereotypical scuba diver. No, I am not. No, I am not the stereotypical half Chinese, half whatever. No, I'm not the stereotypical New Jersey, and no, I'm not the stereotypical East Coaster. No, I am not the stereotypical of anything. I am not the stereotypical person regarding my hairstyle. I am not the stereotypical person regarding my hair color. I am not the stereotypical person in reference to my outfits. I am not the stereotypical person regarding my tattoos. I am just not the stereotype. I'm just not the same as the.
And while I know there's not everyone who is within those stereotypes, not only did all of those lives throughout those time frames that could have had that information back in those time frames, this is why you ask the one and only person you know to ask about it. You can verify it later, whatever, whatever. But since you decided to do it backwards, reality of, okay, fine, you got your verifications and clarifications, that truth. However, it's a, it's a, it's a problem as to what you did. So in regards to 2020, and in, in, in that time frame, okay, I can go in, take some time, go outside of my apartment. I was already gonna work on it though, as far as that was concerned. I didn't need any of these other needless problems. What would have been best is if people were mature in comparison to what occurred. So, okay, posted in my journal blog, the ornery PSA through my website, www.susanmeeling.com, which is the same as www.ladydorybell.com. I even posted about my attendance at the 6th of January in 2021. Mm -hmm, I did, I posted that I was going to attend. Do people need to know what an invitation looks as? If the reference to the links as to that is concerned, because I did not, um, from the hearings, there's not a point in time where I've ever um, encouraged, I, I, if you actually read my journal blogs, I have repeatedly brought up a few factors as to the 2020 election cycle, as to the Austin rallies in the year 2020, and made that a notation of you should be honest, you should speak in truth, pay attention, these situations, like here's, the, you know, all these factors. And so while, again, instead of people in the scuba diving groups having actually done what I actually needed, I didn't need to attend those rallies. I did, but I didn't. I did, I did, I did. I did need to for other factors of, you know, getting out of the apartment at that time. Because, you know, there's the obvious knowledge as to the COVID crap. And so, you know, I, but maybe those people I once knew in person, face to face in person, would be mature and actually have a discussion with me. Maybe they would actually have maturity. Instead, instead dealt with all this other stuff. All right, um, because again, there is my two contact form. Be honest, it's not rocket science. So the people that I once knew in scuba diving, I mean, unless they have a guilty conscience, then that's on them. That's, that's their fault. That's what their choices were. So, made attempts. Ingenuity. Multiple times over and over and over again. And so, as many people who have ever complained about my repetitiveness, why would I have to repeat myself so much if you would get it correct the first time? 
As much as you're so quick with your versions of MK Ultra to snap decision, what is the problem with your type of people at that point? Because if you've had to be told over and over and over again, I don't need to repeat it for myself. I know myself. It's you people that have been the problem. You are the ones that decided to do things your way in comparison. So whatever your experience is before is whatever your experience is before. But remember, just as I have had the courtesy to not assume you are all the same in every sector of Sure, I can in some references if there's enough. But what reference would that be? So in regards to what would be common sense. So there's just that. Or unless you feel more than you are, if you feel that arrogance and egotism that you don't actually feel the need to have any etiquette, you know, because in the capacity of having etiquette, having explained as to could have actually been completed the correct way. So is it that your vanity and your egotism and your what have you as to greed in comparison to being humble? Is, is, it, is, it, is, it, is, it, is it where you think it would be considered as you'd be a charity to time? Because I don't know what way to look at it. Because realistically, the ease to simply just have done so. So there's Club Sapphire, as far as that's concerned. If you were capable to go all the way from, let's say the state of Texas, all the way up to Club Sapphire, and I once knew you in person, face to face in person, were you not capable to actually just speak with me? And if you weren't, why? Did you stir up the same needless drama in Sapphire that you did in Texas? Or was it where Sapphire was, well, let's stir up me because you know what, <laughs> What's the worst that could happen other than all of the security issues? You know, it would be a very bad idea if people at Sapphire were like, oh, look, there's a Homeland Security sign. We'll just use that and it'll be good enough. And then, you know, the updates regarding my journal blog, The Ornery PSA, through my website, www.susanmeeling.com, which is the same as www.ladydorybell.com. If that, if that was actually thought regarding Club Sapphire, that is no different in reference to the Homeowners Association in Pheasant Creek subdivision, where they wanted to have the San Antonio police officer going and being the president of the homeowners association trying to utilize both not thinking about the reality of those legalities that's a different set of problems completely to take into consideration as to such amounts of immaturity So, you know, but it's not the first time that's been done, that people have done that to the Army. People have done that to the Air Force. People have done that to the Coast Guard. People have done that to Marine Corps. And people have done that 
to the Navy, veteran aspects. So, you know, and dependents. So, you know, law enforcement, as far as that's concerned, yeah. That's happened before, obviously. So law enforcement, a lot of areas get prior military gear. It's the facts. So there was a discussion I had with, um, I think it was 2005, while already dealing with a bunch of other garbage at that time. And so the homeowners association and the Fred lawyer situation and all that, you know, well, I'm already dealing with stuff. This individual who had said he was the president of the homeowners association and threatened to put, and threatened to put a lien on the house, threatened. And so I took a stand against that because I had followed the covenants protocol. And so I had contacted the ProCom firm off of 1604 and got myself dressed up. Now, this is a different type of outfit, though the blue is a little bit darker than the one that I was wearing. It'd be a combination if you'd kind of ish. To, and then I had long sleeves and my hair was longer and what grows out of my head in comparison to what I consider is my actual natural hair color. And so showed up and had the jacket with the white buttons and the white piping and met with the lawyer after speaking with, I think her name was Ubi Uskovich. It's a very distinctive name. And so, you know, went in got everything taken care of, variants of the shed and all that sort of stuff. And, you know, three days, it took three days for me to get that variance letter for that shed and remained. And so that's kind of a situation where the president of the homeowners, after the one that lived diagonally across the street, had complained that I didn't invite him to my barbecue after he had already been insulting. He already insulted me three different times to my face. And so when he insulted me three different times and was called out for it, when he tried to claim in reference to the barbecue, well, don't insult me when you don't know me and then expect me to cook for you doesn't work that way. And so, you know, especially in regards of. So as the situation with the shed and my backyard and all that, he tried to use that he was a San Antonio police officer. He was moonlighting. I think it was at HEB or some complex or whatever. And it was yeah, you can moonlight there, but you cannot use that in a housing area. That's private citizens. That's not allowed. Law enforcement is not allowed to use that that way at all. It is completely different to go through a private security firm that is contracted in a specific capacity trying to use that in reference to the homeowners association is a conflict of interest. It's also bias as far as that's concerned. There are other legal definitions regarding that. So, you know, those types that, that overreach of power that they don't have either. And Active duty, National Guard, reservists, veterans, dependents have dealt with those types because they already have their own stuff that they're dealing with and law enforcement tries at times. And there are some situations that there are certain comparable aspects, yes. Some, 
So yes, I didn't graduate basic training and that individual may have had his feelings hurt. I doubt he realized who he was speaking with at that time, which that's been a problem. I've been honest. And so again, so if that individual on top of what I was already dealing with, well, you know, I guess it's that Eminem song lyrics now in middle America, now this, now that. Because a San Antonio police officer, well, he knew that San Antonio police officer, that president of the Homeowners Association, he knew about the subarachnoid hemorrhage in the frontal lobe of my brain. So what does that say about the law enforcement? What does it say in reference to the knowledge that I was less than however many years that would be a biological adult awake from my coma after my head injury on Palm Sunday in 2000, having two children, giving birth to them? What does that say about that? while being present in the homeowners association. What does that translate to? And so in regards of the video links, maybe there are some contemplations that can occur. And so, but back to scuba diving, yes. I had informed them. I had multiple debates, multiple times. They tried to claim that it was deep or, well, they, they told me what I already knew, that it was deep in the ocean. Well, <laughs> gee golly gee whiz, who'd have thunk that a Navy military vessel would be big? Gee golly gee whiz, you know, I just grew up. New Jersey, what type of military Navy vessel could be somewhere nearby that might have somewhere near the shoreline, maybe somewhere, maybe not near a beach, but gee golly gee whiz, gee golly gee whiz, I know, I know, maybe somewhere. You know, there could be a boat that was a Navy military vessel that's been docked in the area of New Jersey that I could have an idea of. Because gee golly, gee whiz, I know. I know. Because, you know, compared to like Round Rock or Rock Wall or whatever and Flower Mound, gee golly, gee whiz, you know, what's the difference between those water areas compared to that. I know. But you know, sure, I had a head injury on Palm Sunday in 2000. Yup, 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 yup. I guess let me talk the way my, some people must have thought that I actually thought in comparison. Well, gee golly. Hold on, let me, let me, let me. <laughs> I don't know. There's a boat somewhere. And there's a boat and there's the water. And hmm, well, you know, I was in a bathtub one time and had a little boat boat in water. <laughs> in comparison to my thoughts at the time frame for whichever debate. I can't believe this moron actually has the nerve to think that I don't know the size of a marine and naval vessel. I was invited to marine and science technology school with the motherfucking Navy attachment. Who does this motherfucker think I am? I was motherfucking born and raised in motherfucking new motherfucking jerk motherfucking Z. Motherfucker. Please, I cannot believe, and this is internal thoughts. I cannot believe this motherfucker doesn't fucking know about motherfucking fairies. Motherfucker, are you motherfucking serious? That you don't motherfucking, oh, have you heard of the motherfucking statue of motherfucking liver motherfucking tea? Motherfucker, this motherfucking son of a bitch has the motherfucking nerve, motherfucking nerve to fucking try to motherfucking tell me 
that some fucking boat, fucking motherfucker, part of the motherfucking military, motherfucker. Do you know what the fucking motherfucking military motherfucking surplus is? Motherfucker, you think that you have a motherfucking surplus and there's no motherfucking way in regards to motherfucking boats being some sort of fucking thing? So like, you know, military's kind of like, you know, what's up, what's up, what's up, motherfucker? And you, this motherfucker trying to fucking tell me that I don't fucking know a shit. What fucking motherfucking motherfucker? This is my thoughts at this time. Various times in the year 2009. This motherfucker trying to really motherfucking tell me. Motherfucker. Like, I don't fucking, I, where the fuck is the motherfucking oh shit? I've been to the motherfucking ocean. This motherfucker up in the state of motherfucking Texas trying to motherfucking tell me about motherfucking, the fucking motherfucking boat couldn't even be in the Gulf of motherfucking Mexico. Dumb bitch. Fucking having the motherfucking nerve to try to fucking tell me something I don't know. Motherfucker. Won't you tell me there's a fucking current in the motherfucking ocean? Why don't you tell me there are motherfucking waves? Huh? Motherfucker. This son of these males, mainly males, you know, there's this, 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 this. Here, we're going to get some military guys to talk with you, you know, since we're blah, 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 blah. Yes, yeah, sure. <laughs> Internal thoughts. Sure, you'll go drop to your knees for these motherfuckers, but you know, that's fine. No, that's fine. You'll drop to their. It's fine. Yeah, no, thanks for your service, you know. Yeah, oh, there's boats, no shit. No, and the irony is there were actual discussions this way. So there was... <laughs> so they bring in um, Matt and Skabuda, okay? And Matt and Skabuda, so some of the Skabuda, they're like, here, here, she had graduated. And so it's like, yeah, I fucking was in the fucking... <laughs> my first scuba dive certification with this guy and they were like oh okay I was like what's up give a hug and shit <laughs> and it's like that's okay hi scuba divers you know scuba did. and so they're like okay so then they knew that I was gonna go to the band of her. I'm like yeah I'm gonna fucking go why and they're like so you know it's a boat no shit it's a boat no shit so I'm gonna do this pretend thing okay so this is Either one of them, and this is me for the for the physical. Okay, okay. So, did you know that the Vandenberg is a boat? No shit, motherfucker. Hold the fuck up. You telling me that there's a fucking boat that I'm gonna go see named the Vandenberg that I fucking told these motherfuckers I was gonna do? Okay. You have, you have a sense of humor, you're funny. Okay, so, so what's, so what's up? So, did you know that the, the Vandenberg, it was, uh, it was, it was, uh, it had a whole bunch of extra boats on it? You mean it might need some lifeboats and shit? Like, is that a standard that all of a sudden started overnight? <laughs> wow. <laughs> they didn't laugh that way, by the way. You kind of, you kind of have a little bit of, you know, when, huh. <laughs> is there a problem? No, just did you know that? Did you know that there's a boat, and, and so there, so the boat, it's it's in the water. The Vandenberg, it was put in the water. Hold on. Hold on a second. And so both of them, random times. What? No, oh, hold on. I gotta get to. <laughs> what? Are you saying? Are you saying that to go scuba diving, to see a boat, there's a boat in the water if you're gonna go scuba diving? 
I don't know. I don't know. I just, I just need to make sure that I understand this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yup, yup. That, that's kind of how that scuba diving is. No, I figured it out. Wow. You got a little bit of pizzazz. You, you're a little sassy. <laughs> well, what would ever give you that idea? <laughs> what would ever give you the idea that I could have a little bit of an ah to? <laughs> um, no, no, just the way you tell jokes. I wasn't telling a joke. <laughs> and so usually at the, at, it was usually at Clear Springs. This is what would occur, or uh, at uh, Aquarina Hot Springs is another one. And so mainly with Matt, Matt was at Aquarina Hot Springs in comparison. So yeah, it was just one of those. <laughs> Gee, a boat, that's, a, and so then, so then, so then. Well, you know, uh, uh, the, the, the Vandenberg is deep in the water. Hmm. Yeah, you know, probably since in the Florida Keys, there's like, and I don't want to assume, so like, could there be other boats like, Big boat that would go over the area to the, avoid the van. Yeah, yeah, that, that does happen. Uh huh. What does that have to do with anything? Well, you know, um, that's 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 where the Vandenberg is. Yeah, I kind of been planning my trip because I got a bunch of stuff I'm going to take care of. <laughs> well, that's cool. Actually, it's warm water area. Yeah, yeah. Out, out there in the Florida area, it's kind of warm in, in comparison. Don't know if you know that. <laughs> they didn't laugh this way, by the way, all three of them. So, you know, but, but like the, the Vandenberg's kind of big. <laughs> What's so funny about that? <laughs> Did you think I don't know? Well, how would you know? Were you stationed on the Vandenberg? No. Um, I was born and raised in New Jersey. Whoa. So what? My biological mother worked in information technology, software engineering for Prudential. Okay, what does that have to do with the Vandenberg? So there's like these things called ports. And so like these are overall sort of discussions where it's like, yeah, I know. 
I know how big it was to begin with. Again, I was born and raised in New Jersey. What are you gonna say that there's not, oh, oh wait, wait, let me guess. People think similarly to how the top of the surface of the water to the top of the Oriskany Tower is 115 feet because of what it says is the entire detail to the log records that are on the internet to the Vandenberg. Huh. Hmm. So the Vandenberg has been in the Atlantic area of the oceanic waters before though, correct? And if so, you know, before it was so, uh, and? So nobody's asked me in person, face to face in person. Nobody's even actually made an attempt beyond either a debate in comparison or to tell me that it's a big boat. Okay. Tell me something I don't know. So, um, I didn't ever go over the numbers in regards up, but I knew. I wasn't going to do certain things that I don't even know what other people would think as to what I was going to go take care of, though I already made attempts to explain repeatedly. Goes back to that repeated aspect. So, you know, Pretty simple. Haven't ever hidden, haven't ever pretended, may, well, I guess this, you know, but I, I clarify that. I should say, I haven't ever pretended when I spoke with people, I've always spoken in truth. So, you know, So while yes, could I call people out for pretending that they don't know me for my website? I could. I'm not rude though. And that would be rude. So while I could in certain time frames, I'm I'm not that type of a person. So in that capacity, I know how to be cordial, if you know what that term translates to. I'm not playing games, but if you do that, I view it that way. So, in reference to the links of the video clips that inspired this particular official YouTube video of mine, stuff I've already went through. At what point in time does it actually get to the point? It's kind of really, um, it's kind of really been just another annoyance in comparison to actually a point of relaxation in comparison. So where I've made attempts before and all of those other situations, no one has ever had the courtesy to actually reach out to me.
and honesty. That's kind of the, the point. So where individuals have pretty much only exit 200 Starbucks, you know, crime outlet situation, when knowing my work is my work, that kind of shows the level of lack of maturity. When I have made attempt after attempt after attempt after attempt. And so if you assumed whatever you thought, that's your assumptions. The best way, the most direct way is to be honest. And actually just ask me, I've made efforts repeatedly. I've reached out, I've even more recently reached out to Amazon to ask to arrange book signings, as far as that's concerned. I've made attempts before then, repeatedly, well before. But you know, there's my original email account. In comparison, on and on and on, all of these attempts for a multitude of situations and if people would not be as bureaucratic about each and every little detail, stuff could have been taken care of correctly each and every time. Instead of assuming that I would, whatever your assumptions are, that's the problem is your assumptions. And because of your assumptions, all that has been done is needless stress in comparison. That's literally each individual doing that instead of what would actually be required. Yet you, and, and at that point, you don't have the right to ever be upset because again, if the issue is about the white pages through a temper tantrum, it doesn't matter. My tone of voice does not matter. It literally shows that. That fully proves that it has just been that recreational lazy type in comparison. If any temper tantrum over that, that is the way it is. Because that just proves that it doesn't matter. You are a feminazi and a sexist machismo for that. Because there is no one, and I repeat, no one, who truthfully could not be considered a feminazi for that for the length of time. So if there have been those who have fought against the feminazis, as far as that's concerned, and just do things correctly in comparison to this needless bureaucracy, so those being feminists, because feminists don't like wasting time. Get to the point. Get it done correctly instead of all this needless drama. There's no excuse for how long it has taken. There is no excuse for how much work I have individually on my own, have not wasted time. And instead, well, there's the updates regarding 2019 into 2020 and 2021, and this year, 2022, on the 30th of June. And so all of these different situations even including after how my son and I wound up in Washington State. After all that stuff, literally reproves that. So there's a situation where a male had said he claimed he had a friend who had a daughter and asked in a bar during a Friday or Saturday evening, what lack of maturity of an individual to think that a female would bring their child into a bar. 
that's minor aged. That level of ignorance as to that factor. Hypothetically, as the year of 2014, that lets you know how long those people have wasted time in regards, and I didn't recognize him at all, didn't give me anything that would actually be where I would recognize that individual. So if you don't actually give me something that would actually be for me to rec unless you think you're that physically recognizable and you're just no different than those Crystal Lake Southers, that's your own selfishness as to your own vanity. To think that no matter where you go, that you should automatically be recognized. I haven't automatically had any viewpoint on that. I figured if you're going to, but I dealt with that in Texas. I dealt with that in Illinois. And just be honest, have etiquette and respect. So, you know, here's an example, all right? Stay out of care. Hi, uh, is your name Susan? Like, do you have a website? Yeah, yeah, I do. Would you like to be more specific? This is, this is ridiculous at this point, by the way. Yeah, um, thoughts, opinions with etiquette and respect. I'd like to ask a couple of questions. Do you have the time? Can we schedule time? Give me the specifics in honesty. Or here's another example. Hi, you look familiar. To what? Well, I once knew someone who had whatever example. Okay, where? Whichever state, whichever city, something specific, something, you know, a specific detail that would make sense. And then the answer. So, you know, um, that's common sense though. However, if you were one of those people in the state of Texas and or Illinois that stirred up a bunch of needless drama because of your feelings or your opinions or whatever, in whatever capacity of, as to the after effects of my head injury from Palm Sunday in 2000, that's your fault. You conditioned yourselves. That's what you did to yourselves. That's what you did to each other as well. And so again, in Washington state, I had told people how my son and I wound up there. I put it in writing. Look, it was even in a physical book. And instead, look, it's no different. Because if it was, stop, where's justice? Where is actual justice? Because justice for me would translate to what I know that, that would be my finances from any sales, all sales of my books for me to choose, not for somebody else to choose, for me to choose where that goes. Not, I, I don't, don't think that I want somebody else making that decision for me at all. I will choose what organization, I will make that choice. So, you know, or what I choose to spend my finances on. In comparison, you know, instead, that wasn't ever for somebody else to make that decision for me. At all. So, you know, just pointing that out there is to common sense. I mean, realistically, People may have wondered why I have had the sensation of a certain journal. Well, well, you know what? Why would I ever have a viewpoint 
of actually being wanted in a positive way. Because if you think you know what it is to actually in that capacity for what I would view as, who do you have to inform you of what I would actually view as? Because if it is people that stirred up needless drama, well, guess what? Those are not the people to ask. At all. And anybody that said that should ask me, you should listen to them. Absolutely should listen to them in comparison. But if they're females biologically, and it's a bunch of males doing that sort of sexist feminazi crap, well, what else is new? At that point in time, wake up and just accept those facts. Because how many times of how many whatevers, my old childhood and all that sort of what have you regarding those types so whether you're a male who has to just accept the fact that my work is my work, and if you're a female, that you just have to accept the fact that my work is my work, and whatever capacity of, whatever you chose to do is whatever you chose to do. So for example, on the 6th of January in 2021, the moment I found out now, I was already in a lot of pain. I have written about it regarding my updates in my journal blog, The Ornery PSA, on my website, www.susanmeeling.com, which is the same as www.ladydorybell.com. There's even the modern day book regarding that as well in my book section. But you know, this is to the perseverance that I've actually had in comparison to what I've been falsely accused of when I know it is the correct choice in comparison. Though that set of needless problems regarding in comparison to actually getting stuff done correctly. So despite all of those factors, okay, as soon as I, I acknowledged I, I lasted longer in regards of despite the amount of pain I've been in this entire time and only compiled each and every time of each and every day instead of any actual relaxation, release of pain, or, you know, what would actually have been, because remember, drove out to Bethesda as I was informed that I was supposed to go do if there were certain things in comparison to the other garbage of what has been going on. Whatever excuses and wishes that the excuses could be, but they're not excusable. So instead, so, okay, I didn't think I could last as long as I have, I did. The moment I found out, now I had been in my uh, hotel room which I arrived multiple days before the 6th of January and stayed several days after because I was working on my own stuff. You know, not a, it's interesting as to how much I've worked on and how small of aspects that I've actually just worked to actually have for myself in comparison to the amount of work for in those capacities. But you know, what would be appreciation? And so, you know, as far as that's concerned. And so in those references, as I, I had murmured a few times about how I did not see that the people in the buildings would be safe, like there would be issues, but I didn't have verbalizing words that would actually give that viewpoint. And while, yes, there's my journal blogs, the Ornery PSA, that's just one city. That's just one state in comparison to whoever traveled from wherever they traveled from regarding the 6th of January, 2022. And so made my way back to my car at that point in time and the individuals that I had met, I don't remember who, a few of them had said that some people were 
looking at going over to the, um, I don't know if it was the Congress building or the Capitol building, and it was confusing because on the news it said, I don't remember which building, but it didn't look like the, um, what I consider the Capitol building, so that's whatever in that capacity. And uh, in those references though, because I think of the White House as the Capitol building, but if you name something of whatever, whatever it is as it is, nonetheless, few people had said that 45 had said that on the speaker. And I had no words regarding what I had already been seeing. So made it to my car as quickly as I could. Then went to a different location, went to the uh, Marine Corps Memorial Museum, and then, or Marine Memorial Museum, the, near Quantico. And then I did make an attempt to go into the chapel, but was as it was. And then spoke with a one individual before I went back to the hotel I was staying at in Virginia. And uh, then I laid down because I didn't think I could handle as much as I had, but I did and took care of that and then turned on the news and that was that. I didn't hear 45 himself say that. I also didn't go in, I had no problem going in to, but I knew that I had my keys and I didn't think about that beyond whatever and, um, and that's pretty much it at that point in time from what I remembered. But then because of other situations, it was one of those, I don't feel like going back and forth to the car. <laughs> That's all that was for me. I just, I just didn't feel like going back and forth to the car. And it just, it just, I already had enough in regards of my pain levels at that point in time. And so I wasn't willing to deal with that personally any further. Because, you know, those factors where I've made, similarly, made attempt after attempt after attempt after attempt after attempt after attempt after attempt. After attempt. Be great to actually have things done. Simple, but you know, is as it is. So if you're gonna leave a comment, make sure to have etiquette and respect. Subscribe to my official YouTube channel, like my official YouTube videos. Go to my website, www.susanneeling.com, which is the same as www.ladydorybell.com. So, Hopefully some of the metaphors assist in regards to the viewpoint as to this particular official YouTube video of mine. Good day. Today is the 30th of June, 2022. Go to my website, www.susanmelang.com, which is the same as www.ladydorybell.com.